Hello fellow tubers and welcome to Ads Drafts. In this video I'm going to be showing you the difference between standard incandescent bulb and something of an LED type which is same form and factor um, from Osram. So what I did there is I got in touch with Osram and asked them to send me a bunch of bulbs for my new vehicle which is a motorcycle in this case which is Honda CBF 600 and I wanted to replace as many bulbs as possible with LEDs. Ostrom said, no problem. They sent me a bunch of bulbs and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. That's what I'm going to use in this video to show you the difference between the two types of bulbs. Now, for those of you guys who are rolling in new vehicles, uh, whether it's a car, motorcycle, truck or anything else, you probably have some sort of an LED replacement already and for a good reason, which I'm going to cover in this video as well. Now, one bulb I could not get and that was the H4 bulb because Osram is still coming into the market with a replacement for that. And a big obstacle for companies like Osram in this area is basically regulations. So for instance, the standard LED bulbs that I installed in my motorcycle should not be used on the main road. So on public roads, you can use them for off-road or whatever else you have, but you should not use them on the public roads. So basically just standard city roads and whatnot because they're not certified by, well, in my case, EU regulations and whatnot, but I can guarantee you they're much better bulb, safer in terms of use in traffic and longer lasting, but about that later. So yeah, I got these bulbs from Osram, great. First thing, what I wanted to show you before I go into this rant about the difference uh, in the bulbs, I wanted to show you actually difference in terms of power usage. And we're going to start with that because that's going to come later in the video. So what I did there is I got a standard, some sort of a power adapter that produces 15 volts um, from, from mains. Now, 15 volts is a little bit too high for the vehicle. You know, a normal car would produce kind of 14, 15, maybe at, at, at most, usually around 13 volts. So I reduced that to 12 volts, um, kind of to match the standard specification of the vehicles. And I feed it, um, I fed that into the buck converter, which basically um, does the whole conversion. So 15 volts to 12 volts. And I needed to do two measurements. So one, I wanted to show you that it is in fact 12 volts. I'm not cheating or doing anything there. And as you can see, it is. And another thing I needed to do is me uh, measure the input somehow. So what I did there is I connected this power meter to the main socket into which I plugged the 15 volts adapter. So you can see at the moment it's showing 0.5 watt, uh, watts and that's the minimum it can show. So let's say there's a delta of one um, watt or something like that. So one watt of measurement is irrelevant. That's fine. Next, I will show you the difference between the Osram bulb. So Osram, sorry, Osram LED bulb, one of their range and standard incandescent bulb. Um, and we're going to talk about that in a second. So you probably noticed two things. Straight away, you notice that the LED bulb produces the same amount of output, just in different type of light, um, in terms of it is whiter than the incandescent bulb. Now you can get the incandescent bulbs with all sorts of filaments covering them that produce a little bit whiter light, but that's beside the point. And another thing which you probably noticed is LED bulb only uses six watts of power versus the incandescent, which uses 28 watts but produces the same amount of luminance basically same amount of light and that's a big difference that's a four times amount of power that means that you can power all the parking lights that are leds for the same amount of um, 
current with the same amount of current as you would with a normal incandescent bulb just for one bulb so that's one versus four bulbs that's a lot of bulbs and if you think about something like a main driving lights which i hope is coming to the market sometime soon that would be a huge difference because each of these use between 35 and 50 watts and that's a lot of power so there's that and another thing i wanted to add to you is you can actually go back and have a look at that yourselves there is a quite a significant difference in how long does it take for the bulb to light up so everybody's talking about this reaction speed you know by breaking or, or doing whatever to avoid obstacles and and notify other road users well here's those precious milliseconds they are saved with the led bulb straight away so there's a big plus there now having said that now you know what's the difference between led and conventional bulb in terms of the heat um, because power does equal heat in most cases so heat power consumption and in terms of what's the reaction type using the uh, the reaction times are using the led bulbs versus incandescent so now that we have that out of the way let's have a look at the footage that i took there um, during the day and night and i'm gonna talk um, while you keep watching these videos so first thing uh, what i want to say to you is if you're using LED bulb, from my experience, you are saving on power, huge power saving, four times, and you're saving in terms of the speed, which or, or the time duration, which takes um, for the light to light up, or for the bulb to light up. Um, there is a small negative now. Um, there is a cost. The LED bulbs are quite expensive at the moment, and the reason for that is basically they're not as popular, and they're not supposed to be used on the main roads, so they're not produced in such a high quantities as the standard incandescent bulbs. But as the technology gets better and better, and as the regulations will change towards LED lights, and they are changing because most electric vehicles would use LED lights for, well, obvious reasons, because they don't consume as much power, so that's a power saving, means you can go further with the vehicle. And same would go for hybrids, and same would go for even just the standard petrol or diesel cars, or motorcycles or trucks because to produce power you need to drain the battery if you drain the battery you need to charge it and your engine has to do that another thing which is small negative is compatibility so as you're installing these led bulbs especially if you're going for something like a cheap uh, bulb from ebay and i have a bag of them um, here in front of well one some of them are actually awesome and a bunch of them are just uh cheap bulbs from um, from ebay that i got over the years so when you're using led bulbs you have to make sure that they are from reputable manufacturer and they're made to fit your vehicle now most of the Austrian bulbs they call them retrofitted so what that means is they're trying to get as close as possible to incandescent bulb when used in the standard vehicle lenses or standard vehicle mountings another small thing is you probably noticed from my video straight away that the LED bulb bulb um, installation is blinking quite much faster than the standard bulb. And the reason for that is not that there's something wrong with LED bulb, but because it's using so much less power that the relay acting is a bit erratically. And and also produce something like this to fight that. So basically you have these um, little clips that clip off on your existing car leads and um, they would then introduce resistance by these 5 watt resistors so effectively what you're doing is the the power saving that you're gaining from leds you're putting back into resistors which is w wasting that power in terms of heat and that if you want to call it emulates the all type of bulbs and i think that's completely wrong approach so instead of using something like this which even though is convenient and is there and you don't need that much time to you know to replace that you should go with something like led relays so it's basically what they are is their relays meant to be used with a low power draw bulbs like led bulbs and they would then function normally you can see that in as i mentioned again electric vehicles all sorts of um, hybrids and other vehicles that are already using leds but because your old vehicle was not fitted with that you need to retrofit and you need, in my opinion, replace the relay, which would make the, the especially indicator bulbs flash as normal. 
because otherwise it just looks like a, you know like a little disco and that's fine because as i said vehicles were not built to use led bulbs previously and the relay specification um, would need to be changed now i've mentioned a little bit about lenses and i want to mention two things what i've noticed and what i have to mention to you if you're considering to change the standard incandescent bulbs to leds Despite all the pluses and minuses and everything else that I mentioned there, there's other few things to consider. So one, when you're replacing all the bulbs in the vehicle with LED bulbs, you'll have a chance to actually clean your lenses, especially if your vehicle is a little bit older, like my um, motorcycle, for instance. So I spent a little bit of time to clean all the lenses from all the dust and everything from inside and the light output would be straight away better just because of that. Not significantly, but a little bit better. Another thing is you get to learn about your vehicle. So basically you would know how to replace bulbs and uh, if there's any issues. For instance, one of my parking lights wasn't working and I haven't noticed that until I opened the enclosure and I saw the loose wire. And so obviously I fixed that and now it's fine. So these small things that you um, would notice once you're doing a job like that. But another um, important thing is as you keep replacing the bulbs, most of these enclosures are plastic. In motorcycle cases, they're screwed in with these kind of self tapper screws or what they're, whatever they're called. Every time you open and you close the lens, you're basically causing unwanted wear to these lenses because they're plastic and you're screwing in metal screws. Um, in cars, it's the same. In some cases, you need to remove quite a bit of housing to install these bulbs. So this is a, another big plus for LED bulbs. Once you install them, you can forget about them. Unless your vehicle has some sort of major issues with power output where the voltage goes between, I don't know, 10 and 20 volts or something like that, which should be fixed, your LED bulbs will last, well, I can't say forever because I don't know how many years, but I used LED bulbs that I got um, years ago from Amazon. They were Ostroms as well, by the way. And I've done a video about them previously. And I'm still using them. So I changed like two or three vehicles since and I'm still using these bulbs. That's how good they are. So that means that especially if you have an awkward vehicle, which there's loads of them there, where the installation is, is very inconvenient. Once you install LED bulbs, you can forget about that. So no more messing with the incandescent bulbs. And that brings me to conclusion. So my advice is if you can get led bulbs get led bulbs you don't have to replace all the vehicle bulbs with the led bulbs but if you start with something like a registration um, plate lighting and let's say parking lights that would be fine you're talking about what is it six bulbs at most and you're already saving a lot of power usage so basically fuel or electricity if, if it's electric car and still uses for whatever weird reason incandescent bulbs you will be better seen people will notice you faster and overall the vehicle has much more pleasant aesthetic unfortunately i couldn't for whatever reason get it on the video but when you look at at the vehicle side by side if you have an incandescent bulb and the leds the leds produce this nice white light no guys my recommendation is don't go for these cheaper lights that produce kind of this blue tint because they just, well, they look cheap and they will probably fail on you faster. My recommendation is something like between 5,000 and 5,500 Kelvin, which basically means the color, which is white. Um, that would look much nicer on your vehicle. And as I said, you will be saving on everything, on time, on power consumption, on fuel effectively. Um, and get the LED relay. So don't just install these bulbs and have your car um, indicators flash like crazy. Get the LED relay, which unfortunately is an extra expense, but once again, it's gonna probably last you just as much as LEDs, which are gonna outlast your car unless you're gonna keep it for, I don't know, 50 or 100 years, something like that. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. Did it help you? And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to answer. Uh, and once again, big thanks to Osram. If you go onto their website, you can have this uh, vehicle selector or bulb finder um, page where it will show you what kind of bulbs you need for your vehicle. And that's exactly what I use for my Honda CBF 600. And it worked perfectly fine. So yeah, thanks for watching.
and have a good day.